According to my own statistics, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually in my guild. So if you want to join the guild or add me as a friend, they're in the description below. Also, actually, uh, please subscribe as well. Thank you. Hello people and welcome back to news review. Uh, this week there are two new cards in the era of novelty seal and also a couple of free cards. So let's get right into it. Uh, once again one main jackpot and one sub jackpot. The main jackpot is Lelenia, Water Dragon, uh, the leader seal, like she is a dragon team. Uh, HP times 2.5 is the special thing here I guess. It allows you to get to like around a little less than like 300k HP which is admittedly very impressive. Uh, the way she works is that by dissolving character rune stones you get all this stuff like attack boosting and if you don't dissolve it uh, you get damage reduction which I'm pretty like I can make the argument that in, that a team with like 300k HP doesn't really need damage reduction. For a team skill it only it can activate when uh, She's a leader, it doesn't require her to be leader and ally, so I guess that's one special thing. Water runestones have the effect of other attribute of runestones. Um, she synergizes with Bahamut again. I, pretty much everyone synergizes with Bahamut these days, like every single dragon for some reason. Uh, dragon skill CDs minus 5 after entering a stage, and then damage ignores uh, defense. After dissolving runestones, the first batch of runestones to be dropped will be water dragon runestones and the members with an additional effect in play like on their uh, portrait that is attack times 3.5 this is obviously aimed at Novalis who you know after you uh, activate him he has the status effect on his portrait at the end of the round if there is a member in a fatigue state skill CDs of dragons minus one so this is like the main gimmick of this team I guess is like put Novalis in and then you keep like using different strategies to reduce your CD and then you just keep activating your active rate because of this as well like every time after dragon activates active then her active and uh, Bahamut active uh, reduces its CD by one again so uh, on to the active skill CD7 linking magic formula again um, for two rounds time tunnel remove tornado this isn't like ignore tornado this is remove tornado the second card that can do this after all might from my hero academia collab um modify the runestone this is dragon trail basically and then every time you touch water recover five percent hp until the team hp is full and then the, at the end of it all dragons enter a hyper state for two rounds basically a global 3.5 times buff if she is the leader uh, bonding skills are just, you know, standard, like, calm become plus one, extend moves to movement time plus one, and then, you know, CD minus one or something like that. And the reason why I rank this card so low is because I don't think, like, I've tested a little bit. Obviously, in the testing stage, they don't give you Novalis, but this card has no, like, in the leader or in the team skill, there's no shield solving or, like, negative runestone solving or like board state solving kind of abilities even like th there's not even any combos the like you rely on heart runestones to a uh, heal apart from the active of course and then you rely on water runestones to attack i get that water runestones can give that attack to other members but like you know i like you're kind of you you do end up with a lot of water runestones as well because of the sky drop, which can sometimes be bad. And th there's just no, you know, like, there is extra time by two seconds. On both sides, it would be four seconds, but then you have, like, you have no ignoring burning, ignoring sticky, you have no combos, you have no shield topping abilities. All you have is, like, an insane amount of uh, CD reduction, which I guess to some extent is fine, but, like, I think. Uh, unless you can actually activate your actives every single round, it's not going to be good. I don't think this leader is going to be good. The only thing good is her uniqueness of active, the second card ever to remove tornadoes. So, yeah, that's why I rank her so low. Um, this other card, uh, the sub jackpot, Abe Satoru, Dark Human. 
As a leader, she's not really that good. She only gives HP times 1.5, which is kind of terrible by today's standards. And then the more types of runestones dissolve, the higher the character's attack increases additionally. So it's all on like leader and ally, right? Um, when the team only has humans or elves, team attack times three additionally, and other runestones have 25% effect of dark. 25 isn't that much, but you know you can argue both sides give 50. That's fine, I guess. You get a new trait of on Myoji. I don't even know how you pronounce that, and. Uh, you deal extra damage to elf and, elf and demon enemies when you like have this trait, I guess. And then the team skill is like, it's very focused on defeating elf and demon enemies, which like at this point I'm like, this is, this has got to be like, how have they not realized this is a failed gimmick after like the disaster of, uh, I don't know if anyone still remembers Natsu from Fairy Tale about how he was like, you know, he dealt like insane damage to dragons or something, unless literally the entire stage is dragons, which will be very, you know, unlikely in any normal scenario. Maybe like, you know, nowadays in a challenge stage maybe, but even then, no, like, there is no chance that, you know, the whole team will be, the whole, like, enemy team, rather, will be elven demon enemies, so, like, this is just not gonna work most of the time. She does even more sticky. But once again, like, no, no shield solving ability. The one good thing about this card, I will say, is um, that when she's in the team, when a dark human or dark elf activates its active, then she acquires Konosuke until the end of that round, and that means that she launches 5 extra attacks of 1 attribute each, meaning that she can actually solve quintet attack shields. That is the only reason why she's even ranked this high, in my opinion. The active is... Okay, like it, it's basically this team skill effect of the quintet attack and the active that makes her like even remotely, like you make makes it a re like that makes the card re even remotely appealing. So CD five explode weather runestones, electric runestones, and frozen runestones. For each runestone exploded, the character enters a hyper state for one round, so the max five rounds. Um. On this, you can hear, you can, you can hear, you can see that uh, there are dark humans that can deal with negative runestones. Not all of them can deal with weathered, electrified, frozen, weakened, and lock for recovery runestones. Like each of them can deal with some. I guess the uniqueness of th this card is that it can deal with all of them, and it's one card. Um, the other thing it, it can solve, it can solve, is that human and elf attack. Damage will be dealt regardless of initial shield, so here you can see dark cards that ignore initial shield, obviously a large amount of dark gods, as I said like in the last news review, it's a bit of a joke. Uh, you have like Novalis and some card from Common Rider, you have uh, Lucy from Monster Strike and the new card from last time as well. Uh, there are no humans in here, and then obviously if you look down here, human cards that, that can ignore initial shield, there are a lot of them. But there are no dark humans, so I guess this is the first dark human card that, that can ignore initial shield. Not sure how much that matters, since there isn't really a dark human archetype in TOS right now. But that is a thing that, I guess, exists. Moving on to uh, free cards. Oh, the main story will finally open up. I think this is the last... Uh, well, the last thing you can see anyway, but I, I don't know if like they locked like, you know, they lock the future chapters or if they don't even say this lock because they're just gonna keep adding to it. Um, there's a calamitous stage that's on like right now I think. Uh, it is for uh the calamitous version of Nidhog. Uh. Nidhogg's leader skill is worse than expected, given that, I mean, he did recently get a VR, so that's like, I guess, an upgraded version of, like, pretty much every other sealed lord. Uh, but his leader skill is underwhelming. His, uh, black and white zone effect is that you recover 20k HP after dissolving runestones, which I guess is fine, it's not anything special. Uh, onto the actives, he has two actives, one is the first dragon from the left with the highest attack basic value, which will be Novalis, you already know it. 
attack balance basic value plus 2000 which is an okay attack boost it's sizable it's not huge but yeah and then a bit of cd reduction you know once some certain effects are met his second active is CD, cd 12 which is where you will need this cd reduction fully recover hp enchant and race like turn the board into enchanted dragon moonstones uh all members except the first dragon from the left with the highest attack basic value launch no attack you already know that will make you know no difference because it'll be Novalis. Novalis is the only one attacking anyway uh, combo count will be 33 by activating this skill you deplete the entire uh, draconic and you can only activate it when you have 100% in your draconic um this is special because you know there are few cards that can fix your calm account to something this high obviously you know uh you have the classic example of deku who is like one of the most unique cards in the game right now fix your combo to 20 fix your combo to 100 and this is the first card that can i guess fix your combo to 33 uh reminds me of that transmigration where the boss needed you to get 33 combos what a nightmare but yeah this is the first like this is the second card in existence, I guess, that can fix your combo to something somewhat high. So I put on a farm with normal stamina, but you you really don't want to go through the pain of like farming. Well, I mean, there's actually no way to farm it, right? It's just achievements that you get the core of dooms, then you uh, then you PR him. So there's actually no way to farm him. This is just where I would put him if you could farm him. Next up, you may notice that a card has broken the tier list again at the bottom. Not a good sign, usually. Because uh, cards, like, cards rarely break the tier list. Like, I think I've had, like, a couple break it at the top. Fairly often, some, like, free-to-play, like, really bad card breaks at the bottom. So, this is one of them. This is Runny uh, Earth Beast, CD7. Turn the three columns on the right into Earth, Water, Heart fire and earth in that order and then for one does the attacks of human enemies why so specific this is just gonna be garbage especially because haza and earth and earth beast can dodge the attacks of all enemies you know the one special thing though is that doya is in this uh, guild mission doya is an excellent uh, earth human card can, that can solve quintet attack shields because of this the leader launches five extra attacks if you see here so this is pretty insane and then that is it for the news for the celebration events there is a returning ultimate stage of lethal boxer fist who is the beast version of azathoth explode the board drop the columns of respective attributes of beast if you know there are beasts in the team then you get uh speckle who is wheel of dismemberment speckle ah uh, it's a dark demon card that actually sucks all right let's skip over it um i think that is about oh yeah one other kind of important thing uh they will be removing uh Aurea and iverson not that there was a good chance to get them you know now to begin with but they will be removing them they'll be adding them back i presume at some point in some form somewhere but yeah and then that is it i think yeah that is it for this week's news view uh if you liked it please leave a like if you have any questions leave in the comments anything you know specific to say uh i want to give a shout out to uh plants for uh leaving consistent comments on recent videos very cool if you want to shout out please leave your comment as well and if you like this in general please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video see ya